Ooh. Hey, giblets! <laughs> Hello, giblets. Ah, it's Johnny Giblets! <laughs> Randall! What you got? A finger, obviously. Ketchum was dead when I found him. He had recently committed suicide. Damn, I figured Ketchum would run before he'd swallow a bullet. They're fucking scared. They're starting to fear you more than Marco. Yeah. He's losing his hold on this place, seeing as to how his men are dropping like flies. We're almost ready to go after him. This last one is going to be rough. Get rested and squared away, then check in with me to get the ball rolling. We're almost there, partner. Meow, meow, meow. Oh. Look, I'm an airplane. Meow, meow. Coming in for a landing. Look, I'm an attack airplane. Ah. What you got? I'm here for another bounty. This is the last one, and he's the only thing between us and Marco. He's a scalp hunter by the name of Glanton. I believe y'all have some history. Oh, I remember Glanton. He was the one that killed a bunch of children. Welcome to Silverwood. I've been expecting you. This is the end of the line. I'm taking you in. These people, they love me as much as they hate the ineffectual lawmakers judging me from afar. Move on me, and they'll turn on you with a vengeance. So now we're torn between two options. Do we complete our mission, and in doing so, kill all the innocent people of this town? Failure is always an option. Yeah, I suppose. I'm ready to just go home and go back to bed. You're gonna give up on the bounty? Sure, why not? But then our reputation will be tarnished! Oh, what? as if it wasn't already. The only one who's gonna actually care if we don't complete this mission is Russell. And he can go pound sand, I don't give a rip. <laughs> Glanton and Marco certainly seem like an odd pair, but it worked out for both parties. Marco hates 80s, and Glanton likes scalping them. Bingo! We have a good idea on where Marco's holed up, but I'm not going to move on him until Glanton is out of the picture. He's simply too dangerous. As you probably know, this ain't a ragtag band of shitbirds. Glanton's crew will fight you tooth and nail, so be ready. The good news is that you'll get another shot to claim the bounty on Glanton. It's 10,000 caps if you bring back his finger. 10,000? Any questions? What if we could convince him to help us? He doesn't seem like a natural ally of Marco. Yeah, I kind of don't want to try to convince him. The man is a butcher, plain and simple. I'd sooner exhume fat-ass Judge Richter and use his corpse as a meat shield than work with Glanton. Brookshire and the others might not care about our methods, but I do. There are some lines you don't cross... Or you never come back from it. Okay, fair enough. Besides, you just can't trust a man like Glanton. I imagine him and Brookshire would get along just fine. Oh, probably. You got anything else? What kind of manpower does he have with him? The battle-hardened, well-armed type. That's what he has. Most of them are ex-military or old bounty hunters that prefer hunting scalps. It's nasty business. Old Judge Richter used to be in cahoots with Glanton. Thank you again for killing that fat bastard, by the way. I didn't do it for you. Anyway, you best keep an eye out for ambushes and traps of all sorts. Glanton won't go down easy. We're almost there, partner. Stay focused and take care of yourself. Okay, now, when I leave and I come back, are you going to be dead when I come back? Because that wouldn't be a very funny throwback. Yeah. Have I ever told you about my hatred for the Flintstones? Yes, you have mentioned how much you dislike that. Yeah, I don't like that show. Barney, that's my wife! Oh, gee, Fred, she said you were a cook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> easy, easy. What happened to Zach? Well, he was ranting about the Flintstones <laughs> being cucks and then <laughs> fell off a cliff. He was ranting about how Fred Flintstone likes to see his wife get fucked by other dudes. <laughs> and then he walked off a cliff. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Oh, oh, boy. Looks like we're killing these men to get to Glanton. Had enough? They got knives! Come There's on. a lady with a knife! Put down your knives! Why are you attacking with knives? Of all the things to attack with. Really, knives? Really? <clears throat> really? I <clears throat> hope you don't have hostages this time because we're just gonna launch rockets and grenades! Yeah, I'm sick of you guys being stupid! You get an indoor firing range? That's pretty cool. I got honeys by the numbers to blow up the town. Jesus. Look at all that blood. What's the matter, Ford? You squeamish? Come on. Come on. 
Why do people keep putting that thing on a table? It doesn't do anything! It's kind of like a little mirror, though. I guess, but like, why put it on a table in front of a couch? What are you gonna do, sit there and stare at it for hours on end? Yes, they use their imagination! That's dumb. Imagination's for nerds. It had to be you, didn't it? I knew you would run with Randall, but I didn't expect you to come all the way up here. Hello again. I'm sorry we didn't have a proper goodbye back in Silverwood, but my departure was a matter of necessity. Shut up! Oh, I salute you for your brilliant, if improvised, defense of the town. I doubt I could have done any better. Pity about the Sandwolves. Now before you do anything rash, just know I've got a half dozen tribals strapped with explosives in the next room. I'm walking out of these mountains, and nobody's stopping me. I'm not going to die up here on behalf of some miscreant like Marco. Let me pass and the kids are yours, safe and sound. Push me, and I'll pull the fucking temple down on both of us. Using children as a bargaining chip, how low can you be? How in the hell did you get teamed up with Marco, anyway? Fate is fickle. I'm no longer welcome in the Mojave, so my options were running out until I received a letter from Marco. Though it seems absurd now, Marco was attempting to establish a higher form of order in Frost Hill, though nothing I'd call a government. I suspect he just wanted a quiet place to retire, so marauding raiders couldn't be tolerated. Thus, I was hired to solve the 80s problem. My solution was... Final. Complete. The 80s will no longer tread in the Deep Creek Mountains, or at least not for a generation. Marco paid well enough, but I am uneasy working with the man. He exudes an indescribable malignance and cunning I've never encountered. I have long been at odds with his various cronies scattered throughout the canyons. He's so but great. I now suspect Marco will remove me at the first opportunity. He is planning something, and I doubt I am included in his vision. Great. Can you stop talking? You have certainly simplified his plans by purging all his hangers on. They were a troublesome, restless lot that had an uneasy relationship with the town anyway. Marco may have planned it all along. I will tie you down and rip out your teeth one by one, and for each tooth that I rip out, I will shove it into your nose and then use a dowel to push it down your sinus cavity into your throat. I don't think Zack likes you very much, Clanton. Why should I let you go? You'll just end up killing again. And who have I killed? Innocence? Hardly. Base animals living in a state of nature, removed from civilization, law, and decency. The Sand Wolves executed helpless babes, tortured settlers for days. I gave them a quick death, which was far more than they deserved. Uh -huh. In the 80s, murderous maniacs, every one of them. I merely turned back their encroachment into these mountains, little else. You can tell he believes in what he's saying because he's loud. Maybe I will kill again, Courier. But will you stand there and tell me I'm doing wrong? I am the line between life and death on the frontier. Uh, mm. I don't enjoy hurting children. I make it quick and painless, but I know what they'll become. I won't hesitate to pull this trigger. To be fair, we kill a lot of raiders and tribals ourselves. You can't run forever. You can just fight me right now. Do I look like some filthy savage to you? Yeah. I might work on a cretin like Red Bear, but I won't humor your ego. It's not happening. <laughs> Too scared to fight Big Bad Zack. Glanton is a pussy. Glanton is a pussy. <laughs> He's got a bad mustache. Glanton is a pussy. You, you might actually be legally re <laughs> Well, that <laughs> simplifies things. God, didn't, provoking him didn't work. But we saw what you did to the Sand Wolves. You're a monster. Monsters kill indiscriminately. I like to think of myself as a surgeon, extracting malign substances from the greater body of civilization. Remove me and there will be another, or perhaps the cancer will grow. 
Then the masses and their mewling bureaucrats will bemoan their fate. If that day comes, I'll look up from hell and have a nice, long laugh. Then you'll see the real monsters, Courier. The ones who sow anarchy. Whatever, it doesn't matter. You're dead anyway. You're not getting out of here alive, Blanton! Had enough. And apparently neither are the children that he strapped bombs to. And he's fighting us with a knife. Of course he is. Of course. Mm. Uh. Alright, let's go save those children! Nah, he killed them all. Nah, damn. I'm willing to bet almost anything that he would have just blown them up anyway the moment he left the building. He, he's kind of untrustworthy. Yeah. Yay! Glanton is dead! And so are the children, but we'll leave that out of our mission report. Yeah, that doesn't... Ugh! Oh, wait, is, is the quest actually broke? Like... Oh, we forgot to grab his finger! Ah, fuck! fuck! <laughs> well, I'm not walking back. Get the time machine. <laughs> There we go! <gasps> and he did it again. Hey kids, how's it going? You're oh, now. They're, uh, they're dead. Yep. Would have had a note. I hope the courier comes. I have all my faith in the courier. I know the he'll courier save us. will save me. There's no way the courier would sacrifice ten children's lives to take out one bounty. He's got he's definitely got a sound moral compass! What children? I don't, I don't think there were ever actually any children in there. Let's go celebrate by getting a haircut! You and your damn haircuts. What's up, folks? Hey, Cuddy, after the shift, you want to go get a drink? No, I, I think I'm just going to have a Nuka Cola here. That, that's all I need. Now, goddammit, don't let me go in there by myself. You know all kind of fucking weirdos? You ever tried to have an extended conversation with Al? Oh, that sounds like a case of... Not my fucking problem right there. <laughs> Spent all day calling me a dick licker. Why would I want to drink with you? Oh, Mr. Big Bad Mutant. Can't take a little ribbing. First round's on me, you big pussy. Oh, and Lori's working tonight. Lori? Well, well, okay. But you better not call me a dick licker again, fuckface. Seems a little tame this time around. Yeah, it was a little bit more tame. All right. Oh, Glanton was a pussy, Glanton was a pussy, he was a stupid nerd, and he got what he deserved, cause Glanton was a racist, and a huge piece of shit. Ten children had to die, but we decided it was worth it. <laughs> Ten children didn't have to die because he didn't actually capture any children. Right, it was just a bluff, right. right. It was just a bluff, he was bluffing. I hear the great cons just packed up and left Red Rock Canyon. Yes, they just packed up and left Red Rock Canyon! And what you got? Kill Glenn, and there were some minor complications. We don't need to talk about it right now. Word's already gotten out that he took out a passel of tribal kiddies with him, and you let it happen. Disgraceful. That's what this is. What? You fucking earned your caps, didn't you? I hope it was worth it. How did word get out? We killed all the witnesses. There were no. <laughs> all right, get that out of your. Boot system. up the rewind time machine, Mike. Why? I can't be known as someone that kills children. If you leave the children unharmed, you can leave in peace. I give you my word. Wise choice. I'd make a quip about seeing you again, but I think it's better left unsaid. Goodbye, courier. Fuck! Yeah, then he does the disappearing thing. So we did actually have children. God damn it! So we have to make a hard choice. <sighs> Come on, that's not that choice! Stop! Stop! All I want to do is kill Glanton! But you have to choose between saving the children or killing Glanton. You can't have your cake and eat it too. That's it. That phrase doesn't make any fucking sense, Mike. You can't eat your cake and have it too. If you eat the cake, then you have had cake. But you can't eat the cake and also possess the cake as well. Yes, you can. You cut it into two pieces. And then you have your cake and you eat it. But you haven't eaten the cake. And who wants to keep cake anyway? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> 
This is all your fault somehow, Ford. This is your fucking fault, Ford! You stupid fucking self-confident piece of shit! You should hate yourself just like everyone else does! You should be miserable! Life is agony! And you should embrace that, Ford! Instead of being like, I'm the best, I'm the best. No, you know what you are, Ford? You're a sad little boy. You are a sad, miserable little child, and no one will ever love you. Fucking loser. How do you really feel, though? I know exactly how they figured out that those children died. Yeah? Oh, you think Ford snitched? I think the moment we got back, he was like, You should have seen the courier! He was like, I don't give a fuck about those children! And then he blew them up! It was so cool! Ford, you're part of our pact of silence now. Or kill the witnesses, that's- Dead men tell no tales. <laughs> You're not mad that the children are dead. You're angry that you are known as a child killer. Yes, that's what it is. That is actually exactly what it is. I was so happy that we killed Glenn. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Because every single time, they give you this really unsatisfying ending of, Oh, well, Glenn just disappeared. Oh, for a second I thought I thought everybody was dying, so like we came back here, mm -hmm. and Glanton had come back here and murdered everyone. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Hey, Randall, you want to yell at me? What is it, partner? Glenn had children as hostages, so I had to let him go. Now that's a tough one, friend. I hate to let him go, as I know you certainly do. But no bounty is worth the lives of kids. Brookshire won't authorize the bounty, of course, but I can give you a little something for showing a little humanity. You have my thanks for it. Thank God. Anyway, we'd best put that behind us, because we've got one name left on our list. Marco. I've still got a few preparations to make, so just let me know when you're ready, and we'll round up the posse. The readiness is all, my friend. What you got? Marco time. Brookshire's got the intel. Go see him for the details. I'll get the rest of our posse formed up. It's time to finish this. Marco, time to die! Polo! <laughs> Polo, yes. Poyo! Brookshire! Hey! It was Ford the whole fucking time, wasn't it? Ford was Marco? Ah, really? Breathe deeply, courier, and don't strain yourself. I need you alive. Oh shit! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Certainly makes you hate Ford a little bit more, doesn't it? It makes me hate anyone that mods this game. <laughs> <laughs> fucking every bitch. Are you gonna help me move this pile of shit, or what? Why? Why don't we just shoot the fucker? Brooker said not to touch this one or Randall. It's part of the deal. I thought his name was Brutcher. Why the fuck are we hauling them to town? When are we getting paid? Relax, Brooks said we'll get paid once business in town is settled. Here's the Brahmin. Let's load him up. Careful, one of them's coming around. Keep that hood on. Here, you should take care of him. How many times have I been knocked out? Like, honestly, I've, I have suffered so many concussions at this point. I shouldn't even be alive. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, did the game break? Looks like it may have. We'll do a hard reset, but... Um... Did I get hit so hard I straight up died? <laughs> You Is got that the end of the mod? <laughs> we have to start a whole new game because you, I got I got killed. You they they hit you in the head with a wrench to knock you out, but what they didn't realize is that that only works in movies. Yeah, and that just actually will just straight up kill somebody if you do it in real life. And you are now dead. Yeah. Thank you all for watching Mike and I play all the, these different mods in Fallout New Vegas. But um, we have actually been killed by Marco. I can see why a lot of people were fearing him. Yeah. Yeah. I see why people were scared of him. It's strange that this mod is as well received as it is, considering they straight up kill you at the end of the mod and there's nothing you can do about it. I guess that's it. No more Fallout New Vegas ever.